everyone, Dust Bunny Major here from Slackers Undercover, and welcome to Meeple Station. Now, thank you, Vox Games, for giving us the heads up on this ahead of time. And I, when I say ahead of time, I mean way ahead of time. Uh, this game just came out on Kickstarter. Their debut was last Tuesday. And shoot, the, the release date on this isn't even scheduled till 2019. In fact, February 7th, 2019. So we talk about early, really, considering, you know, it, it's barely September. So, Maple Station is a space station simulation game with real-time strategy elements. Heavily inspired by other titles such as Rimworld and Dwarf Fortress, your Meeple peoples require you, their supreme commander and pseudo-god force, to direct them to build, gather, and defend their space dwelling to survive. And dare I say it, live long and prosper. Now, heads up, anything you see in this video is heavily subject to change. This isn't even alpha. As you can see in the upper right-hand corner, this is pre-alpha gameplay. It's also not my first time playing this either. I, as you can see from the existing station in a moment, I'm a little bit more in depth with the time play and, and, and trying to learn on this game because the genre isn't my strong suit. RTS is, uh, you never saw me play StarCraft, it was bad. RTSs aren't really my, my thing, but I do like the idea of puzzle aspect and trying to strategize and, and, and make plans now that are going to help you in the future. I, I, I played uh, Oxygen Not Included. I loved it. I like that. you you got to take what you have and what you can do now and use that to make yourself set up to be a superpower later down the road. Now, we're going to run over the basics. Now, I want to hit new game, and I want to make a new game, and I want to show the new setup. However, something I'm doing with that isn't working. Like If I hit new game, classic, uh, and pick mild... It's going to retrieve the scene, it's going to let me, it's going to be like, Hey, welcome to the setup mode for your space station. Design how you want your space station to look. When you get finished, press launch, and we'll get it ready. Thanks. Mine's not working. It's, um, yeah, yeah, we've been make save, uh, save and load blueprints for stations you previously made coming soon. Mine's not working at all. Like, when I hit launch, when I have it all pre-made, the game just locks and freezes. So... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to title. Yes. Go back to title. Single player mode. Load game. We're going to load the recording that I've done many recordings on because... <laughs> oh, family. and Just live interrupting. <laughs> you know how it is. So we're going to load this scene. This is from a prior game save. It's also prior to the latest update. So we're not going to have some of the fixes and stuff they did. This is the world I've been playing with. Now, let's run over the quick basics on this. It is a survival game, first and foremost. So, as much as you're going to have your people in control, and you're going to be in control of their lives, you do have to require to give them food. You build little food things right here. You need places to let them eat, so we've got table and chairs and whatnot. Because otherwise, they'll eat, but they'll be very unhappy about it. Beds, of course, are important. Otherwise, they will just fall over on the floor and sleep. The space station itself, very important, have plenty of room for your, for your inhabitants. And as you can see, mousing over any section shows you the O2 levels. Right now we're at 99%, which is pretty good. I mean, it's better than what it was. Now, this is a basic setup that I was doing, and I've been playing with it quite a bit, but... This is just kind of an example of, uh, <laughs> I wanted to show off this man down here. This man is a royal pain in the keister. I, I don't know it's, if it's because I'm doing campaign, I can't really help him out. I don't have permissions to set, so he's just upset. He's an official, he's an officer, and he's mad that other people are in his private dining hall. This isn't a private dining hall. This is an open mess room. His private dining hall is actually upstairs. Look at this. The only way to get in here is through this ladder. This this isn't connected. This ladder. I gave him his own sweet setup. He's got an officer desk. He's got his own personal fish tank of food. He's got his own bed. He's got everything. He's even got a potted plant. Come on, people. No go. He did... He, he, Everybody else just goes up here and uses it. He never goes up here and uses it. Whatever. It is what it is. So we got life support right here, the green, and we've got our power supply that is powered and plugged into our solar panels right here. And we've got trading over here. But see, this is not the best way to show you guys what's going on. I just I want to show off my little 
slice of heaven and hell that I've been working on right here. Uh, yes. Let's actually go through the tutorial just so you guys can get a look at what's going on with Meeple Station. Huh? Oh, hey there! I suppose you want to know how to do things, so let's get started. Yes, please show me, sir. Your space station is run by Meeple, but you can't control them. You can only give them orders. Let's start by opening your building menu. Now, this is our starter station. Build menu allows to build a fish tank so your Meeple have something to eat. I'll put it right here, right where you tell me. I don't want to... I do what I want. No, I have to put it right there. I'll pause the game and wait for the Meeple to build it. Press space to play, pay, play or pause. And right click to get that, that nasty fish tank off your cursor. So our engineer is going to work building the fish tank and soon they will have all the fish they could ever want, which I, I, I kind of question where they get the fish. Is it just quick breeding fish? I don't know. Great! Now your fish tank will produce food and your meeple will eat when they're hungry. What next? Some of your life support doesn't have a power source. Let's fix that! Right, what do we need to do? We need to build conduits. Conduits. Bam. Connected. Better rock and roll. Build a conduit and connect the life support with the power source. You got it, buddy. I believe in you, Peebly. What's your name over here? Refiner. Daggy. Now we won't suff suffocate and die. That's good. <laughs> You'd imagine. Yeah, it's probably very good. Not going to suffocate and die. We need more resources. Time to send someone out there to mine. How? Well, first we need to create a suit rack and then an airlock so our people can go outside. How'd you guys get inside if there's no airlock? I just want to know this. So make sure airlocks have a nearby bulkhead so you don't lose a lot of oxygen when it's open. That is incredibly important. My own personal station, I have uh, kind of killed somebody. Didn't have an airlock. I mean, didn't have a bulkhead. So essentially, when you open the airlock, a lot of air gets sucked out in surrounding areas. Uh, if you do that, do that um, yeah, all these areas get sucked a lot of oxygen, and he's, he's, he's not good. He's no bueno. So let's do airlock. Set that sucker down right... Oh wait, we need a suit rack. I'm sorry. They want me to do a suit rack. Frick. Suit rack. I I don't agree with them on this. I wouldn't put a suit rack here because if you send multiple people out at the same time, um. Actually, no. I just realized they want me to put the airlock here. They don't want me to put the suit rack here. Oh, I see. I screwed up the tutorial last time. Don't put your suit rack in here. If you put your suit rack in here, someone's going to come in here and get suit up to leave. Someone else is going to come in here and suit up to leave. And then they're going to open the airlock and get all the oxygen sucked out of here. No, don't, don't, don't be a, don't be a bunny. Don't do that. He's not good. So, here we have airlock. Airlock will let us go outside into the cold world of space. Yeah, you're just standing there eating cookies, man. No place to sit and eat. What's wrong with you people? Oh yeah, I gotta build you a place to sit and eat. Um, I wouldn't stand there. He's about to pop open the airlock. You gotta give it a field test. Alright. Airlock done. Now we have an airlock. Let's get out there and mine some asteroids. Baby, find a merillium blue asteroid and designate some of it from mining. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. You can also use left and right arrow keys to change layers. This is true. However, if you want to like, if you want to build something such as a ladder and you want to make sure it's lined up, the good way to do it is to mouse over the ladder and then use period to go down or comma to go up. That way you can make sure that's all nice and straight uh, and not like some of the things I've built, which are horrible, horrible, scary monstrosities of architectural nastiness. So, let us find some merillium. We got merillium right here. And over here. This seems to be a little bit closer. Let's see if we can send our boys after it. Salvage some merillium for me, my friend. When Meeple uses an airlock, it vents oxygen from the room. You can hover mouse, hover your mouse over the room to see how much oxygen there is. Let's see. Zero percent. And everybody's chilling in there. Which means he's going to be very unhappy for a second. 
Yeah, it goes to zero. So that's why bulkheads are important. Also, it's probably why you guys... What are you guys doing? Standing near the airlock. Dumb butts. 100% dumb butts. So he's over here mining the merillium. He's also mad that he ate standing up. Have you got some merillium? Let's create a ticket and we're going to make more light. Choose how much you want to create. Well, let's make... Let's make all we can. So right now we make 12. Let's do it. Got it. Recipe done. Let's go. So we're going to need more than that. Yeah, he's, he, he says 10. I think 10 isn't enough. I think it's enough for a table, but not a chair. We'll get there. All right. So our now that we actually told him to refine stuff, our boy down here is in the refining zone. Let me turn off layers. Yeah, there we go. I can turn off other layers. That way we can just see what's going on down here. So they crafted what they needed. He's going to go back there and mine some more after he came back and got something to eat. How's our more light looking? One more will be ten. There we go. Excellent. I'll see if you can build some beds. We need three beds. Where are we going to put them? Um, I kind of want to just put them upstairs, honestly. Do we have a downstairs? Downstairs. That's a refining room with potted plants. Pretty, don't get me wrong, but let's just put our beds across the top here. Or down the bottom. Eh, bottom. One, two, three. Three beds. We'll be ready to rock and roll in no... Oh, wait, 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 wait. He wants two beds. Save the resources. Even though I want three beds because there's three people. Let's just do two beds for now. I mean, maybe they can sleep in ships. It's not a bad idea. You know, it actually looks a lot cooler without the, uh, the lines. Because with the lines, it looks like he's traveling on this weird path. But what the heck is he doing? What are you doing, man? You're just put, taking on, putting off, taking on, putting off. Okay. Now your space station is livable. I think it's time we started trading and hiring more workers. How? Build another airlock. Only we'll designate it as only to accept trade ships. Our buddies are asleep and, uh... I thought we had three workers. I'm sorry. Okay. Just the... Oh, maybe our uh, little announcer guy doesn't technically count. Alright, so he wants to build another airlock, and we're only going to want it as... Yeah. Problem with that is, I've known from experience, not having a bulkhead is a very bad idea. Okay, so we're going to build that, and then we're going to build an airlock. I don't want the second a trade ship shows up to just be like, suck all the air out. I know that's not really a thing. I think when the trade ship opens, it doesn't pull any oxygen out. But, you know, better safe than sorry. Can you go do your task, friend? Ooh, build that airlock. Pretty good. Just do it. Alright, we have an airlock. Designate airlock for trading. Hover over an airlock and press T. There we go. It is open to trading. You're getting the hang of this. Let's wait for a trade ship and then hire a janitor. Because it is nasty. It is so nasty in here. Speed things up. Oh, we have the ability to speed things up now. Wait for trade ship. There we go. Trade ship. Got my janitor, man. Time to barter. We're getting low on cookies. Not sure why. You can trade resources in with this panel. And hire new workers from this panel. Uh, we got Clockwa. Clockwa the janitor. Hey, you know what? You do your job and we're cool. Uh, th th this mess. This place is a mess. You people are slobs. 
That's exactly why I just hired you, sir. Now you got the hang of things, so let's see if you can manage this next, next task on your own. What is it? I'm tired of standing up. Build a table and two chairs so we have somewhere to sit and eat. I got this. Yo, I, to I totally got this. Question, though. Where did we put it? Actually, that is a good question. Where did we put it? I guess we'll put it up here, honestly. Uh, table and chairs. Table and chairs. Table. And... Wooden chair. And wooden chair. Let's go. Go, engineer, go! Of course, no one mind that you gotta go all the way down. You gotta go up the ladder with your fish dinner. To eat it. You know, but whatever. It is what it is. Maybe in the future we'll have elevators, but for now, you gotta climb with your fish in your mouth. Like a brown bear catching salmon from a river. I don't know, you think it's fish sticks? You think they live off of fish sticks? That'd be weird, but... I guess it would work! Honestly. Just mince up the fish and cook it. I'd eat it. I don't know about uh, living on fish sticks every day for the rest of your life in space, but uh, I'd be okay with it. Finally, you sure took your time. Whatever. Hey there! No. I'm an engineer. I can build just about anything. That's good. The station is starting to grow, and we need to make room for an office. Why? When officers join our station, they need an office to help us research new stuff. Ah, I see. Build a room of at least four tiles in size. Seal it off with a bulkhead. Oh, okay. Maybe that's why... He didn't realize that was his room. At least four tiles wide. Check-a-roo. Well, let's, uh, let's do it downstairs. I'll do it right here. Right here, right now. Build? I need hull segments. Also... Yes, this is the right. Two. Four tiles in size. We're gonna do a little bit of three of the four. That way we have... You know, it looks nice. It's gonna be his actual official office. Speed the sucker up. We're actually shy on... Stilium? It's one of the resources we need, so let's, uh... You gotta go, uh, give me some stilium there, sir. We need it for making stuff. Also, I may have put this in a bad way. Oh boy, I did it again. Officers will also be happier if they have their own private dining table. Trust me, you want to keep them happy. Yeah, no, I... <clears throat> I 100% agree, though I'm a little bit puzzled. We have plenty of materials. Okay, send me... I'm, I'm not sure. I sh I don't know where this is connecting. I don't know where this is connecting. Am, am I, I, I think I've done a bad. Okay, it's gonna actually connect down to that. So I think they can just, this is gonna be his private area. Check. We'll do a bulkhead in here as well. It's, it's not straight. Like, like I said, I, I really wish this game... I wish you could rotate it around side. Like, rotate the entire thing around. You know, rotate to where this is on that side, this is on that side. Just to get a better perspective of everything that's going on in the game. I mean... 
the way the building is, it seems like it would work already, because everything, essentially, depending on if you place it here, 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 shows different angles of where it is. I mean, you can rotate it around, therefore, why can't you rotate the world around? Maybe something that's in development and not quite available yet. Uh, I I'm going to hope it is, because, you know, sometimes I just want to be able to see what's going on around me a little bit easier. So we wouldn't have issues like this. What if, uh, yeah, there we go. And next, right in here, we'll put a bulkhead here. Maybe the bulkhead is just how we, uh, make it where people don't need to go out unless they have an order to go out. That's cool. That works. I hope I didn't just trap you in here. You're running. You're already getting the place dirty. I haven't even had something in here. Why are you here? Okay. Your build desk for our... We need more blue stuff. Oh, meteor shower inbound. Oh, boy. Please, please, no. Oh, no. Something I just... Oh, gosh. Um... This is tutorial! Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Um, uh, um. So, yeah, so this is the tutorial of what goes on in a space station. Um, I think everyone just died. I think everyone just died. Everyone is dead. We're all lost. Yeah. Oh, what, what? Oh, the humanity. So yeah, this, this, this was Maple Station. This is a. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Yep. 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 Okay. So uh, about that officer coming, so we could see him be happy for a change. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> what is the RNG randomness of this? All right, well, we wanted to see what would happen in a bad situation. That's what will happen in a bad situation. That is a bad situation. <laughs> Clocka died of asphyxiation. Dropped the task due to dead. Job suspended. Unreachable. Five. Daggy died of asphyxiation. Pibbly died of asphyxiation. Zip died of asphyxiation. And then they're also mad that there's no place to set need. All right, well, at least we got an idea of what's going on, how to do it. I hope everyone else got an idea of what's going on, how to do it as well. I like this game, and I, I, I really hope for its potential. He's got the potential. I, I hope for its future. I'm sorry, my words are getting all... St I, my, my brain's still in a state of shock over what just happened. Or just <laughs> destroyed everything. So, in tutorial... <laughs> Hang on, no. It says build a desk. We will build a desk. We can't refine. We don't have. No one's alive. There's. We're Dunskis. I, I mean, even if I. Even if I were to uh, hire new workers, as soon as he walked in here, he'd die of a fixation because uh, every, everybody's dead. The world is over. We have a power supply, but we don't have anyone to build the power supply. At least I don't think so. Actually, do we have anyone to build? life support we don't have the we don't have the means we don't have the means to build anything we have one engineer all right well thank you for everyone for joining me thanks for hanging out for more news and information on what's going on or what may be check out the description below if you like or saw want to see more like us like the like button bash subscribe button and share the video this is meeple station goodbye trade ship you are our only hope to let people know what has happened here now, I am going to point out also, uh, the quiet in the background isn't by choice. There's just no music yet. So, uh, if you're wondering, what's that music back there? I'll, I probably slid something in behind it. It's not default. Oh, oh, the humanity. We were doing so well. But yeah. This Mipple Station Vox Games and Kickstarter uh, links and description. Everything will be in the description below. This Dust Bunny signing off for now. Until next time, later underground. Bye. <laughs>